The purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to use the program Poster Razor. This program can make a poster of any image for your classroom in any size. Some suggested uses of this application would be to post learning goals in your classroom, uh, scales, maybe a unit or a lesson theme, even pictures of students. What I have here is a, an example of an average size desk, and you can see that someone has blown this picture up uh, to 10 foot by 15 foot wide. So if you go to Google and then you type in post eraser, you'll see that the post eraser.soundforge.net um, is a link. If you click on that, you get to the poster post eraser site. You go to download. Now it's here that you can utilize the Windows version or the OS 10 version, which is the Mac version. So you'd go ahead and click on the OS 10 version, and as you can see, it will start to download, and then it will be in your downloads folder, and from there you double click on it. And you, oh, don't forget to click keep, as you can see at the bottom left hand corner. Okay, uh, it'll be in a .dmg format if you click the arrow and you click open, and then that will start the, the install process. It's at that point where the program will be located in your applications folder. So creating a poster image can be done in seconds, um, and it's this simple. So if we were to list our um, learning goal for the week, uh, you can open up a Word document, type in the message that you wanted, and it's actually as simple as, and you know, from here you can. Um, make your bullets and say anything you want from here then you're going to do a screenshot and that's shift command and then the, the number four and then you can drag and let go and it will be saved as a PNG on your desktop and this is again for Mac so at that point, you would open up your uh, post razor program. And for that, you can open it up in your applications folder and where it says post razor.app. That was the application. Okay. So from here, what you're going to want to do is upload the photo or the image. And you can either click on the folder, or in this case, we can just put in the um, uh, drag and drop a picture from our desktop. In this case, it's the Pasco County logo. So you can leave everything the same, and then you click Next. And then from here, it's going to print it out in portrait or landscape. And that's kind of self explanatory. Remember, to make these posters, it's simply printing out on, on your, your printer paper. And um, you would leave your borders and everything exactly like it is. Click Next. Now these spaces here, um, what that does is it allows you to have a reference point for if you wanted to glue the image as one solid image or if you want to have spaces in between them. And I'll show you the differences. For now we'll leave it exactly like that. I'm going to click Next. Now from here you can see that the number of pages in the width is six. That's huge. It's six pages wide. So if you just wanted to make it four pages wide and tape them all together, there you have it. Okay, so from there you'd click Next. From here you can click Save Poster and it, you can save it where you want to. It's going to save it as a PDF. From that point you open up your PDF and you click Print. There you can just tape together all of your posters. I want to show you some examples um, that I found on, um, if you just click in Post Razor and Google Images, you can see an example right here would be somebody using, um, they taped them all together and there are no seams, like I was talking about before, There's are no, there are no separations. On this one right here, you can tell that there is some separation and it's more of an aesthetic um, preference. 
Uh, here again, there are no differences in the, uh, there's no uh, spaces in between the picture. Um, and again, you can make this as large as you want. This person chose to decorate their, their uh, refrigerator. And that is Poster Razor.